Hey Capricorn, so I'm here to do the Capricorn full moon reading for your sign. Um, so please always check your sun, moon, your rising and your Venus. If you don't know your placements, you can Google your natal chart. Put your information in and it'll give you all your placements. So always look for, well you'll know your sun if you're on here. Check for your moon, your rising which is also your ascending um, and Venus. They're the main four that you want. And they're the main four that you should be watching, especially when you move, um, especially when we're on a full moon and a new moon, you need to be checking them all out. So the Capricorn full moon is in your first house. It's in your house, um, in your first house of self. So it's almost like with this Capricorn full moon, they're asking you to kind of look back over the past 12 months and kind of look at your wins but also look at your struggles how far you've struggled and how you've changed certain things so you're kind of looking back over you know where you struggled and and your wins as well so i feel like the capricorn full moon is giving you um the chance to kind of give yourself a pat on the back you know you're kind of reminiscing on the bad and the good from the past 12 months because it is in your sign of self in your house of self should i say sorry yeah, so these won't be extended. I'm just doing the moon readings for you all because I felt drawn to do it this morning. Capricorn, your energy, the devil in reverse. I do feel like it is about the past. You know, your negative traits, other people's negative traits, the negative things that have happened to you over the past 12 months, but you're releasing it. It's like you're kind of letting it go letting it all go with the devil card in reverse yeah because the main energy is about having no regrets so sometimes we look back but you're not looking back with regrets you're looking back and thinking wow i made it out of that or wow i managed to get away from that i did that i turned that around you know the five of cups in reverse is a nice card to be on because what's crossing that now is the three of pentacles the three of pentacles is teamwork makes the dream work. So you could be at an energy now where you're making, there's a need to make decisions. Um, it could be on finances. It could be on the people that you surround yourself with, with the three of pentacles being there, being around trustworthy people, accepting trustworthy guidance and moving forward. Why is this coming around now, the moon? <laughs> you couldn't write it, could you? It's going around because you're your moon. So the moon is past his energy in the cards, but I'm not feeling that. I feel like it is this Capricorn full moon. And I feel like the disruptions and the illusions and things from the past 12 months, they're all coming up to the surface so that you can deal with them and move forward, you know, but also to celebrate your wins, to look back over things that where you've kind of self-sabotaged or, you know, created illusions. You may have wore a false self mask in the past and it's time to like free yourself from that. I love it. So in the past, we've got the world in reverse. So the past 12 months could have been turbulent. It may have felt like the, your world was like literally going all over the place. And it's like, I am losing myself here. You know, I just want this cycle to end. At present, we've got the high priestess. So you're showing us very intuitive. I feel like your BS radar is up full. Uh, even towards yourself as well. It's like, I'm not going to BS anymore. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I'm just going to be blunt. I am going to say exactly what I mean. I'm not going to hurt people's feelings, but I'm going to say exactly what I mean. I'm going to gun for what I want because I'm going with my intuition now. I'm not being led by my thoughts anymore. I'm being guided and I'm trusting my solar plexus. So then near future, we've got the six of cups, which is issues regarding children, your memories, your past, people from the past. So be careful because someone from the past could return um, or get in touch, you know, that type of energy. Maybe that's what you want. Maybe you've been waiting for this person. And it's, you know, because sometimes we release things and if they're meant for us, they'll come back around. And I feel like you're in that type of energy. If it's meant for me, then it'll come. But I'm just going to carry on, you know, on my journey. Because your power is the wheel of fortune, Capricorn. <laughs> your power is to turn your fortune around. Again, it's like looking over the past 12 months. Uh, the things that have gone wrong and the things that you could have handled differently. And your power now is to kind of push your wheel of fortune and get it moving. The outside influence to that is the chariot. We're in cancer now, the sign of cancer. The chariot is about positive movement forward, making the decisions and the choices in order to positively move forward. And there could be more options than one. So there could be new options opening up. In your hopes and fears, we've got the full card. The fill card is a brand new fresh start and I feel like that is what you want. You want a fresh start. 
you want to be, able, you, you know, but it's about having that leap of faith within yourself in order to get that fresh start because it's not just going to fall on your lap. It's something that you've got to do. And your outcome is the Nine of Cups. I can't believe these cards. The Nine of Cups, making your own wishes granted and sitting there and thinking, look at all my wins, putting them on shore for people because you're proud of your wins. And that is what this Capricorn full moon is bringing in for you, you know, so you can assess the negatives and where you went wrong in the past and how you can move forward and get towards your wins. I love it. I absolutely love it. So, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> so, Five of Cups, we've got the Strength card. A Leo season could be significant. We're going to Leo on the 23rd. But I do feel like you've regained some kind of strength. You're finding that inner lion, that inner lioness in order to move forward. It is an eight. So it's about like ending a karmic cycle and moving forward. It's the infinity symbol. So I feel like you're going towards rebirth. Yeah, nine of cups. You, it's like I'm being free and I'm I'm going to focus on my achievements. You know, I'm making my wishes granted. Maybe you focus on a new career opportunity. You know, she's got the box of, you know, she's got a chest of gold there with a nine of cups, uh, showing the world her nine of cups. So the three of uh, pentacles. Some of my Capricorns could be going towards a new work team. Five cups in reverse. So it's like no regrets. So people that you've had to walk away from in the past, people you may have thought were team players, you know, that type of energy, maybe that's changing the dynamics of certain relationships. But you've no regrets on that. And you're allowed to grow. Sometimes we do outgrow like certain people and things like that. We outgrow those cycles and we don't have regrets. So then we've got the seven of cups. See, you've got options opening up. You know, but there's, it's choices. It's like, mm, which one do I go for? There's definitely options and they come in with this Capricorn full moon energy. Tell me about the moon. Temperance, Sagittarius energy there. You may have Sagittarius in your chart. May have dealing with Sagittarius or going towards Sagittarius. But the Temperance card is about being patient. And it's also working with the sun and the moon cycles. You know, it's regaining that kind of energetic balance and being patient and allowing things to kind of come in on their own. So the world in reverse, I feel like you've been in some kind of mental turmoil. Oh. Yeah, Queen of Wands in reverse. Um, a lack of self-confidence. Maybe you burnt out. Maybe you didn't like what you saw in a mirror. And, you know, maybe certain energies or people kind of brought this in. Um, I do feel like you're out of that energy now where you felt like you were losing yourself and, you, you know... You, you had no confidence in order to push yourself forward. Um, it feels like you were on burnout, like totally drained, but it does feel like it's because of the past and you've got the Five of Cups twice now in reverse. It's I feel like you've come out of that energy or you're very close to coming out of that energy of self-sabotage. And I do feel like it's past issues that have brought that out. Could have been dealing with a fire sign in the past. So we've got, yeah, you're ready to move forward. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady wins the race, my favourite card of the tarot, because he sets a goal and he's not bothered how long it takes to get there as long as he gets there. So intuitively, you're being guided forward. And what Spirit is saying, it's not going to happen overnight because you've got a Temperance card. You know, you've got the Knight of Pentacles. It's like slow, slow and steady wins the race, but that is how you move forward because then we've got the Fool card. So it's about taking a risk. You know, having that leap of faith in order to follow your dreams, accept new offers. So this Six of Cups energy, we've got the Hierophant. Could be soulmate energy as well. But the Hierophant is being divinely guided forward. Um, you, you know, is showing you which way to go. The Hierophant is usually, you know, like God, the creator, the divine, that type of energy. But it is a commitment when it's on top of the Six of Cups. You could be meeting someone from the past or you could be meeting someone who feels really familiar like you've known them forever so your power is the eight of pentacles it's recovery especially in finances you know the eight of pentacles is about being uh, working your way up investing your time and effort into yourself and building your dreams with the eight of pentacles being there and then we've got the page of swords in reverse so you can't, the page of swords in reverse, it's like not to take on board any challenges. You may have a challenge in air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you may have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in your chart, but it's it's almost like to kind of chill with the page of swords um, and kind of not accept the challenges because your outside influence is the eight of swords. That's what you're moving away from. That's where I, I'm kind of looking at that. When I looked at the queen of wands in reverse, I felt like someone looking in a mirror and not liking what they see. And that's what I see there, but it's in reverse. You know, that way, she she hates what she sees. Her hands are tired, feeling trapped in certain situations. 
you're coming out of that energy now with the chariot you know it's positive movement forward away from that energy it's like loving yourself again and it is it, it's in your first eyes of self because in your hopes we've got the sun happy outcomes new ideas that lead to success you know having happiness enjoying the sun you know happy days and the ten of pentacles happy family having enough finances feeling safe feeling grounded feeling that you're around trustworthy people the nine of cups is your outcome making your own wishes granted the devil capricorn making your wishes granted let me clarify the devil and the lovers gemini energy there some of my capricorns could definitely be going to or just starting a new love interest um if it's not if it's like an old relationship and you've kind of lost yourself you've lost your confidence it's about rekindling that type of emotion because it's all about yourself and it's also about loving yourself coming out of negative relationships and going into positive ones whether it be love relationships or family you know take it as it resonates but well, that's beautiful reading so i'll see you next time bye